What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry, where we discuss software engineering by example. Welcome to another episode of ArcGIS JavaScript API. Today's episode is polygons, man. Yeah, polygons, a multi part uh, lines that can be filled, right? That what that does not make any sense. <laughs> but like polygons, right? So polygons are uh, it's it's a it's a ge type of geometry that essentially have an area. It has a starting point and it has a closing point, and the the starting and the end point are essentially the same. Right, creating a polygon. Right, we do, so this is what we're gonna discuss today. So we work with points, work with lines. Now it's time to do polygons. Polygons, like one of the most popular geometries, we use them all the time. Essentially, uh, anytime we buffer a point, we get a polygon. A polygon is. Uh, 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 is essentially could be a circle. A circle is a polygon. Anything that has multiple geometries, basically. All right, let's get to work, guys. Let's get to work. Uh, yeah, we're recording. So we discussed the polyline here. Uh, now we're gonna discuss the polygon. We need at least, at least. Where did I go? Yeah, we need at least three points to make a polyline, right? Uh, a polygon, which is like a minimum is a triangle. A triangle is a polygon, right? And uh, we need at least three points. And uh, but in the geometry, when we build a geometry, we make this is the first point, this is the second point, this is the third point and the fourth point is actually the first point it's always like that the first and the last are the same which is basically you closing up the polygon on itself right does that make sense so in this example we're drawing a polygon that has only three points right but uh, three rings so this is the way they refer to rings all right guys so uh yeah let's get to work again since it's the same concept we're gonna copy and paste it's always we need a geometry we need a symbol and we need a graphic so it's okay if we copy i know anyway, we're gonna change all that so this is p it's not a polyline it's a polygon right and the difference between the lines and the polygon is in the lines we use the property path so right in the polygon just rename it to rings and everything literally is the same right it is exactly the same right except so the these are the rings of the first point the second point the third point and you have to always add the first point back to close up that circle or circuit, right? The polygon. Let symbol. The symbol is not line. So for the point, it's called simple marker. For the line, it's called simple line. For the polygon, it's not called simple polygon. It's called simple fill because you fill it up with stuff and obviously it doesn't have all that garbage yeah we're gonna look up uh, more information and see uh, more details uh, as we go uh, throughout this video uh, so yeah let's check this out guys how about that let's run the application first npm run start Sweet. Let x equal the longitude of the center. Let y equal the latitude, and then let's play with that. Yeah. So yeah, why just why don't we just use this? 
We already did a line, so we're going to do a polygon. Polygon. Beautiful, guys. So beautiful. So that's our first point. I think this is our first point. The second point I just added. One and one, which literally took us here. And the third point, uh, I, I added three to the x and I subtracted, so it went all the way down. So that's the y. And since we added by default, the tool or the function adds back that polygon, it closes up the triangle. And so on, yeah. We can uh, obviously make this into an array and add unlimited number of points. And, and I, would, I would like to do like uh, the, the fourth episode of this geometry is where we actually interact with the map and we build stuff. I think that would be really cool, right? So we got like a, a draw polygon, you click, 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 and you see finished drawing. And then that will basically take all the points and then build a polygon out of those points. Does that make sense, guys? I think it does. All right, yeah. Uh, what I want to do is actually look up more uh, properties of the symbol because I don't memorize that so yeah just we'll we'll look up the fill symbol and the uh, in the API here let's see what do we have here so by default what I memorized is just the basic stuff like color right and we had like some transparency as well but that's it I didn't do anything else so we have something called the outline that's very interesting actually so these are the inherited stuff. That is odd. Yeah, it's inheriting basically that stuff. The outline, this is very interesting, right? If you think about it, so you have the color, you have the symbol fill. The outline is optional and that is the border right that border of the stuff look at that so by default it's always black and width of one or whatever so what we're gonna do here is uh, let's build our own outline an outline is nothing but a line if you think about it right it's just a line so always treat it like as you treat a simple line symbol so just the, uh, do outline just, that's an object because it's a symbol and you don't really need to add a type you can if you want but you don't have to so I'm gonna add a width of 5 um, I am going to add a color of uh, blue not really blue Let's add a uh, blue. Yeah, why not blue? And all that jazz, right, guys? That uh, that dot. Uh, that we will try the dotted and uh, the caps and all that beautiful stuff. Let's give it a shot. Does that work? It works. Sir, it works. All right, let's steal some style. Do you remember that, guys? The styles? I, I have no idea. Short. Okay, we have to look at the fill. Uh, what do you call that? Simple line symbol. Yeah, let's use that short dot. Does that really work? It should work theoretically, right? Because it is it is just another line. So let's give it a shot. Oh mine! It works, sir. It works. See how beautiful object-oriented stuff is, man. And, and and with the JSON, everything is just visible. And I'm loving this stuff, man. I'm falling in love with this stuff. 
and you obviously you can add some transparency and you can add that I wonder if that cap uh, cap thing works or not right so if I do like a solid what the, what happens here again solid yeah so what happens here if I do see it's like it's there is a transparency there as well so I'm gonna add the cap remember that cap which is uh, and I'm going to do a, what do you call a round I think that is a round cap that's what I'm interested in right Cap, what's the cap, 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 round. I'm gonna do a round. So see like how sharp the edges is. Let's see if we can actually uh, make them round. Round and around and around and around we go. Did not work, sir. It did not work. Maybe this is a bug. Or maybe it's by design. I have no idea. But if you think about it, yeah, guys, like, the line at the end, it it basically should it should respect those caps, right? You think? I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll talk to the developer. Wow. But yeah, you'd think, right? You'd think it should be it should respect that lines. I mean, if you do just draw a line out of this, what happens? That's the draw the line. Let's just uh, map view the graphics. This is how you basically guys a clean line. See that did not. So yeah, it only applies to the end. It ca literally caps them. It does not apply that to the vertex. So I think that's by design. I would I would imagine this was this is by design. Cool. Let's look at more uh, stuff for the fill, fill symbol. Right. So what do we have? We have a wedge for that. Yeah, we did that. That's just another way of representing the width. Is that it? So we have like the outline and that and that's it, huh? I guess. Can we do like dashes on the? Uh, I remember in back in the Arc Objects days, I was able to do that. That is a picture fill symbol, so you can use a picture to fill the. Uh, so this is the simple fill symbol. That's the that's the simple fill symbol we're using. Oh, there you go. There, it has a style. How about that, guys? We're looking at the inheritance, so we're gonna use the simple fill simple here. Let's just use this background diagonal. So just add a style to it. Is that it? So this style property is different than this, right? This is this will be applied to the polygon, while that will be applied to the uh, to the outline of the polygon. Does that make sense, guys? I don't want a line here, I want to draw a polygon. Alright. Did you see that, guys? Oh, I'm not very. But the performance, yeah. I'm not very. Well, performance is not that hot. Look at that. Yeah, probably. Uh, I probably don't want to use this, but that the solid defaults. Uh, the polygon has no fill if you want to make a hollow uh, polygon. Okay, so we have all that stuff. That's good. I think this is, uh, since this will use some sort of a mathematical formula to redraw every time, I would, I would imagine that, see, that's why it's like slightly slower. As you zoom out, we draw less lines. As you zoom in, we draw more. Uh, 
what that takes. Yeah, it takes a hit. So yeah, use with caution, right? So this guy's you have to use this with caution, I would I would I would imagine. Using this with caution. Alright, what what do I have else? So this I know, this I know. What is this decorated class? I think this is something else. Yeah, but these are the most important things. So width, the color, we change the color, we change the alpha, we change the outline itself, which is just another simple line, really. We play with that. The line has the most uh, cool stuff, really, if you think about it. I mean, it has the most uh, uh, cool stuff. Really. How about the marker symbol? We did not really do that, but it doesn't have much. Angle, that's good. So if you want to uh, rotate the graphic into a different angle, especially useful if you have uh, a non-circular point. Yeah, I think that's uh, useful. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. Auto casting, yeah. This <laughs> in four point six. This is more, so much simpler. Uh, previously, can you imagine, guys? We had to. Uh, we had to create objects of those, and to create objects, we had to require them. So there was a class called Simple Line, Simple, Simple Fill, Simple, and all that jazz. So now it's much, much, much easier. So the JavaScript team is doing a great job here. Uh, simplify the life of the developer, making things easier and easier. That is cool. What is that? Autocasts meter me, miter limit. I don't know, is this how it's brought? Meter? That's not meter. Is it there? Size threshold or for showing mitered line joins. The value may be autocast with a string expression the size. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're gonna stop here. So we have a polygon now. Now we know how to build polygons. We know how to build lines. We know how to build points, and you can now enter. Uh, intertwine all the three and build cool stuff with it and we're gonna build in the next episode some sort of uh, uh, editor kind of where you can sketch stuff like oh add a point that 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 uh, add a line and that's we're gonna build it manually and then I'm gonna show you an out-of-the-box tool built widget out of the box yes sir, I provided that and you can use that. I don't like to show you ready-made stuff where you can just plug and uh, it's a black box. You don't know what's in it. You have to understand. I think I think everybody should understand uh, if they are using a certain code, they should understand how it works. In order, if for example you don't like that widget or you want to build your own widget, you should be able to understand the back uh, the back end. And uh, what is exactly happening when you are doing all this work, right? When you're building geometry. So obviously that widget is much, much better than whatever we're going to build. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, we're going to continue these episodes. Uh, so yeah, uh, episode 25, Geometries, Polygon, and then Queries and Spatial Queries. So much cool stuff happening, guys. All right. You guys stay awesome. I'm going to see you in the next one. Goodbye.